hi guys and welcome back to another vlog so today on today's agenda um so i need to go to the hair store because your girl i'm in my bag so i've been getting like a lot of wigs lately so i run out of stuff to install my wigs so i need to get the thingy that i used to spray down the lace you know i need to get one of those and just any other thing that i see that can make my wig look better um i've been rocking this one i really like it if i like the one that i put on today because i got on the curly one then i will sell this a lot of people have been asking me if i'm gonna sell this one so i might sell it because it's still pretty new i haven't been wearing it that long so i might sell it um then i need to go to the supermarket because i did run out of some stuff i need juice i need water i need bread um i need oh damn i need to write that down i need soap for wash my plate then because it done and yeah um so the hair store that i'm going to i found it on instagram i've never been there before but it seemed very nice i'm gonna vlog when i'm in there it named judine fab here and it's on east of park road so if it's tea then but based on the instagram and the prices that i was seeing it seemed very affordable like it's giving no markups so we already know the scent of the day is from dossier and we're gonna be mixing two scents today so right here i have floral berries and this one is inspired by joe malone peony and blush suede and this one is floral musk and this one is inspired by lancome idol yeah lancome idol so i like to layer it because i feel like both of these scents they complement each other really well both of them light fruity very candy type of vibe and that's what i'm going for today you know it's daytime and i just want to smell fruity and floral and light and just smell like that girl it's so crazy to me that people are still not shopping on dossier because the other day i was on the phone with my friends and they were like girl what's dossier i've been seeing you post about dossier like what's dossier and i'm like you guys don't know what dossier is um if this is your first time on my channel dossier is a luxury inspired perfume brand so let me explain you know you have your luxury perfumes you know you have your ysl your gucci your tom ford all those expensive fragrances and you've been eyeing them for a while we all know perfumes they're very expensive and sometimes people will just you know not buy them because they're very expensive but we all want to smell good on our budget and dossier allows you to do that so if there's a perfume that you've been eyeing a luxury inspired perfume dossier probably has it the inspired fragrance so for example again this one is floral musk and it smells identical to lancome idol and i can tell you that because i actually have the original perfume and they smell identical and that's what i love about dossier you can smell good on a budget and these range from 29 dollars up to 50 dollars the link is gonna be in my description you already know that and they don't just have fragrances for a woman they have unisex scents and they do have fragrances for men you know if i had a little boo i'd get him stuff from dossier but until then you know i'd be getting stuff for myself but guys i smell so good when i wear these perfumes i always get compliments on how good i smell like ask anybody they're just like girl what are you wearing and i'm just like dossier it's always gonna be dossier because i'll be smelling good on a budget okay and when the expensive perfumes are running out dossier got me so click the link in my description and go and shop from dossier okay guys change of plans i know i told you guys that i was gonna go to the hair store but i think i'm just gonna go to the supermarket instead reason being my check the location and it's giving me in the middle of half a tree and i am not in the mood for that today and i'm not saying anything is wrong with half a tree before y'all come in the comments but i'm just not in the mood for that today you know when you just know one gun away where nobody ever see you yeah i'm not in the mood for that today if i had company then definitely but i'm just i'm not in the mood for that today i'm not in the mood for the the hustle and the bustle i'm not in the mood so i'm just gonna have to use what i have to get my hair done because i do have my got to be spray 
but the one that i got in florida in the hair store it ran out and i wanted to try the ebin lace spray ebin ebin i was using this one but as you can see done it done so i'm just gonna go to the supermarket and call it a day and use what i have until i have somebody to follow me to the hair store because i'm not going out i'm not going i must my most bond with twin but i always want somebody to follow me go somewhere what's wrong with me but yeah i'm gonna go and i'll show you guys when i'm in there i need to remember to bring my supermarket bag because i keep forgetting i don't know what's wrong with me so i'm home i did not vlog in the supermarket i'm so sorry first of all there is a lot of music playing and when we're in the supermarket my apple focus so the vlogging it not gonna work i don't know anyways i'm gonna give you all a haul so y'all can see what i bought and then when you can guess in the comments and tell me how much everything come up to or how much anything must spend yeah so let's start off so we have a bread we have a bread one dozen eggs six ripe bananas two pringles one little chip about three vienna so i have this thing where whenever i go to the supermarket i like to try like a new drink or like a new soda so i have this dr pepper cherry and it did look pretty and then i got this berry lemonade so i got these i'm gonna get them here for washing my plates two spaghetti a jerk seasoning i bought one tuna with not tuna one sardine with hot pepper reason being i've never had this before but i want to try it as like a breakfast option with some cream crackers i don't know i i kind of like sardine like i'm one of those girls but i have to season it with like my onion and my pepper on them someday so i pick up this hot pepper one and hopefully i like it i got two tomato sauce got some sweet chili sauce got some irish potatoes i got some chicken wings got some bologna i got some american apples got this bacon burger from rainforest some lettuce got this mango carrot juice this water water and then i got two pork mints because i like it with my tomato sauce and my spaghetti like that's one of my favorite comfort meals anyways that was that and then I bought one, two other things, but I got this in the pharmacy. Cause remember I told you that, did I say it? I needed some skincare products. Guys, I have no skincare products. I only have things for wash my face, but my face dry. I know it look greasy right now. I don't even have a moisturizer. So thank God, I'm gonna look too dry and ashy. That's just me with my oily skin, but I got this uh, moisturizing cream in the pharmacy. This dear, you see, people. Jesus. $4,200. But it was the only thing that it looked like sensible, you know? It don't even seem like enough in there. When I go to when I fly up, I will buy skincare. But it just bought my upset. Cause why are the tubes so little? And then I got this serum because I don't know I'm into serums now. This is a um this is a Jamaican brand I think. So I got this serum. I don't know. I just have to add a serum before I moisturize my face. So but yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments how much money you think I spent. Not these, but like the groceries and stuff. Hi guys. So it's the same day actually, but your girl was working. So I installed two weeks today. I did this one and then I did this straight hair one. I already told y'all I'm in my bag. Okay? Yeah, I'm in my bag. I am in my bag. Somebody, um, just to be a little bit open, somebody messaged me on Instagram. I think it was yesterday or the day before, and they were like, girl, you need to do an ebook on how to become a wig influencer. And I told her, girl, but I don't know about that. Because first of all, and I know you shouldn't allow what people say to, you know, discourage you. Because at the end of the day, I preach that a lot. But I've been seeing a lot of people just bashing girlies that start like ebooks and stuff. So, I don't know. I could do it because honestly, 
if you guys been here like rocking with me from day one i've been doing wig um wig videos from i started youtube and i can definitely say i have grown a lot when it comes down to my installs and just how much money i make and how to pitch myself to wig companies and stuff like that and how to bargain and get paid the amount of money that i want to get paid i remember when i just started doing wig installs and i would get paid like a hundred dollars okay the wig the last wig video the last wig review that i posted um let me show you guys wanna know how much i got paid for that one and this is just me being transparent not even trying to have y'all in my business but this is you know we're just a talk friend to friend i got paid nine hundred dollars for this brand deal this one this last one that i posted yeah so this last one that i posted i got paid 900 dollars, and i started with a hundred dollars that's what i used to get paid back then and i'm up 900 dollars now and i know it's just gonna keep getting better and better so it's so crazy and i look back and i'm just like whoa you know like i didn't re i didn't know that i would get to the place where a hair company would pay me nine hundred dollars to that's almost a hundred and fifty thousand jamaican dollars some people don't even make nine hundred dollars in a month working a regular nine to five crazy so i do have the knowledge to do an ebook if i wanted to but child i'm so scared and I'm not selling y'all a dream. Like, I'm a living testimony. Y'all been rocking with me from day one. I'm not just one of the girlies who just start. Install, we gonna come and say, oh, I'm selling an ebook. No, my bin do this. My bin. <sighs> y'all know. Like, if you go down on my YouTube, my wig installs used to look so crazy. And now, we're up. Like look at the material and not only that but i feel like it's just very profitable because you get paid to do the wig install you get to grow your platform and then you can sell the wigs and that's just money so a win is a win a win is a win but i won't be selling this wig i'm going to be keeping this on but i'm going to be selling this straight one i'm already telling you all the time I always resell my wig so if you see me posting a wig and you like it message me and ask me well no you not have to message me I post all of them on my thrift with Bree Simone Instagram so go and follow that and that's where I post all my wigs that I'm selling but yeah I have a clothing haul for a brand that I'm supposed to be doing Jerly She so I'm gonna try to go and film that now. I like to batch shoot my content because since my makeup is done and my hair is done, I don't want to have to get up tomorrow and do my makeup again and just set up the lights and whatever when we can just do everything right now. So yeah, what else do I have to do? I'm gonna film a TikTok, you know, over on TikTok that's where I post about my God content and stuff and I talk more about God over there. So I'm gonna fo I'm gonna post a video about God because I do have a word that I need to share with my platform. I have multiple things that I want to talk about, but yeah, um, and that's how it worked for me. Whenever God give me a word or something is placed on my spirit, that's how I make my videos. I mean, I just talk. That's why I don't post about God that often. But when God does put something on my spirit, then I'll make a video about it. Because I feel like whoever the video need for reach, they're going to see the video. So yeah. <sighs> wow. My altar break, man. But yeah, that's just the update. I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I definitely still need to go to the hair store. Because I did not get the hair stuff that I need and I realized that this got to be something. I guess because I stopped using it, I'm used to the good things them now. That don't make sense. It not have no stick. It's not gluey. It don't melt the lace. Some, even though my lace is melted. Because I have like additional products that I use to melt my lace. Like I use my spirit sand. I take my time and melt the lace. But the one that I was using before is better. So... 
but i want to try the ebin one and then they have a mousse that i also want to get but yeah um so hopefully i can get to go to the hair store tomorrow if not i can go thursday or friday because i don't have any more wig videos to do up until the others get to me i have some more wigs on the way but i don't have any right now so that is that um but yeah let me know in the comments if you guys would <laughs> love for me to do an ebook and it wouldn't be expensive like man i come man i even if i want to do it i'm so funny guys man i know let me know your thoughts on it but that's even like an accent if I must do an ebook because me not me want to do that. But let me know how you feel about everything that I said. You know, just let me know in the comments. But I will hit you guys up tomorrow. <laughs>
yeah but yeah i used to dislike my eyes especially in high school because i was like skinny and you know when you're skinny your face look more droopy and well my face was not droopy but my face was more slim so i feel like my eye then me just pop even more i'm a farted big i'm feel like me look like a little alien again i'm dramatic because i think i was pretty in high school i'm gonna show y'all a photo of me grad pic hold on archive post Hello. <laughs> my name forgot singing on opera because clearly i don't know if someone could have sing too it's so crazy it's a real thing them say when god gear telling time i use it you take it back as somebody look it not sure you know like this is literally me in fifth form i had to turn my ac on is it me alone or the nights have been very hot i can't deal with it or probably me i got through heat flash early in her life but i don't know but just at a night time my heart man he hot like me wake up and cold sweater wash me that's probably my own demons that I'm fighting. Well, me not fighting the demons. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. No demons formed against me shall prosper. Me not fight not a demon. But yeah, um, I don't know if I did nothing tomorrow. I said this before, but again, if I am, y'all will see me. Oh, my battery are dead. That's cute, Simone. If you shut up, yeah, goodbye. Let me tell y'all something. Honestly, Sarah Jakes, bro, if you're ever going through anything, any sort of depression, if you feel far from God, if you just need something to draw you in, pull up a sermon on YouTube from Sarah Jakes, bro. Listen, I was making dinner earlier, I'm gonna have to stop because i just that ball i had to go and sit down and i done cook the dinner i did not eat yet but i had to come in my room and sit down on my bed to finish this sermon before i can even eat i don't want to get distracted this is the one that i'm watching right now it's called uh, a mirror and a model listen this message was so timely like i just i, I just know that i needed this right now sarah jakes and she has like a lot of really good other sermons like you have a popular one i think it named girl gets up or something like that like i'm always watching sarah like that's my girl if it's anybody that i would love to meet one day it's sorry see i call everybody else love like artists like beyonce and people eh? my woman like the person that i would uh, you know inspires me sarah sarah okay mia mm -hmm. so if you guys don't know what sarah jakes i mean i know she's very popular but a lot of people don't know of her you need her if you need a way to bring you close to god sarah okay okay i'm gonna go back to watching it because i have um i have 15 minutes remaining so many forget three so i can go eat my dinner because I am hungry, but we're not eating right now. We we're locked in. So I'm here with Jada. So we're at Dragon Court today having lunch because I've been craving Chinese food for so long. And Jada was at my house on Sunday. I wanted to get Chinese food, but everybody locked. So we decided that we're gonna come and get it today. This is the menu they have dim sum but we're not getting that today we got uh, sesame chicken chicken and black bean special uh, chow mein and white rice that's it it look pretty thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah 
guys then and let me know when michael jackson died i was like eight years old i wouldn't be 20 2008 i remember the but i i was a child and michael jackson used to scare me man i like like man i know why he used to scare me and when he died but they'd always have this fear of like him gonna haunt me man i know I'm late free, then I'm a little old. So I never want to walk funny. outside How with a dog. I just do that too for Auntie. <laughs> Bro, I kind of old up some of this. See, I want on. <laughs> Bro. Be so for real. This look like one chicken nugget. <laughs> what? Bro, why am I so stressed out? Like, Bro, I want on this, you know? Actually, four chicken nuggets, you know? <laughs> Box food money, this, you know? Bro, for four really good chicken nuggets. Wow. You know how much I get soup, you know? Look how well we get this. I'm going to put it down on that street. You see that? I know what I'm going to do with this too. Yes, I get this. I'm still very disappointed. So, the food is here, the main event. So, we have the chicken and black bean. We have the special chow mein. We have the sesame chicken. The white rice look good. Normally, I don't like white rice from Chinese restaurant, but this one don't look bad. Pepper sauce, sweet and sour sauce. And cheddar! <laughs> I'm excited. They know how long I want this. Belly full, burped, thank God. <laughs> this is the bill. Them give it two little mint for fresh up from out. <laughs> so much hair. The bill is 9226, which is not bad. Not bad. So we're gonna split it halfway, you know the vibes. <laughs> if we have no friend, when they can split it. And me and Jade are gonna pay like four something. Four thousand no. Yeah. Less than five grand each. This Not mad perfect. about that. I we get full belly. We're all um me and her a box up when I bring home. Oh, yeah. See there? Full box of food. Yeah, that thing just got Chinese. Alright. Lunch box. Yeah. Lunch box. Bill is paid and we're about to go over to Princeville Plaza to meet Leanne there because she's getting her hair done. So yeah, but now I'm like more asleep. And I have to go home and finish planning for Bible study tonight because I'm the one who's hosting. Even though I planned today, but I need to like read over my script and even though it's not that deep. But I know, I just like to do things good. I have it screenshotted in my phone though, so I'll just read it while I'm there.